welcome back to Das's Corner. For today's video, we're going to be doing my five-month pregnancy update. And we're going to go over all the things that I went over in my four months. But it'll be a little bit different this time since I'm five months. And I turned six months literally on Tuesday. So, but I like to do my updates after my doctor's appointment. That way I can like update you guys on more things. So that one will be coming late August, I think. I'm not sure. But yeah, so let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing will be like my cravings. So I don't necessarily, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't necessarily crave anything. There's times where I want like, ooh, I randomly want some baked chocolate chip cookies or ooh, I randomly want a Subway sandwich or um, I randomly want like a crab boil, but I don't necessarily like really crave anything like that. I don't consider those as cravings because when I'm not pregnant, I like have little sparse moments where I want certain things too. And then for my symptoms, um, I don't really have any symptoms necessarily. I mean, I guess you can, if you consider like tired as a symptom, because for me, this pregnancy is like backwards because my first pregnancy I was extremely tired for the first four months. All I did was sleep. Then I had like, then I was up and eating and stuff like that. And now with this pregnancy, I'm still eating a lot, but I'm like really, really way more tired. Once I, once I got to like five months, I started getting extremely tired all the time. Like I just, <clears throat> by the end of the day, I am done, ready to just sleep. So and then, oh, and then I have, like, since all the colostrum is now in my my girls, <laughs> I do leak a little bit, but it, and that happened the last time, too. It's not, like, to the point where you need to wear a nursing pad leaking. It's, like, tiny little sparse leaks here and there. I'll wake up with a couple of, like, dry milk spots on my shirt, but it's not necessarily to where I need to wear a nursing pad, like I said. Um... Oh, and I've started to get like lower back pain really bad. Like if I'm standing up too long, like if I'm, you know, like, cause I like to clean the house one, like every Friday I do like a, a deep clean. So once I'm like halfway through or once I'm done, my back is like killing me. Or if I'm like standing up cooking too long, if I'm just doing something for like a long period of time, my lower back will start to hurt really bad. And then Braxton Hicks contractions. I haven't really got any yet. I mean, I'll have like little, tiny little like, I don't necessarily know what to call it, like little cramps, I guess, but it doesn't bother me or anything at all. And it's normal. So yeah, that's all the symptoms I have. And then for my baby's weight and for her size, um, since she's so big now, they're not able to measure her, but I'll put a picture of her right here so you guys can see. Um, they're not able to measure her from head to toe anymore because now we're at the point to where she's just going to start gaining weight and things like that. And she's all crumped up inside. So it's hard to get a measurement of the full body until she comes out. But she weighs 14 ounces already and she's almost one pound. So when we found that out, I was super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, she's growing so fast. I'm so excited. And then for the movements, of course, like I said in my last video, I've been feeling her move since I was 14 weeks. She moves all the time and she's like breech right now. So her feet are literally like on my bladder. So I feel like her foot like positioned down there or I'll feel like little kicks and stuff. And sometimes I can feel like her little hands right underneath my boobs because she's so long, so she's kind of trying to stretch, but there's not really much room to stretch. And then um, the prenatals, I'm still taking the same Vitafusion prenatals. I'll put a picture of them right here, just in case if you didn't watch my last video. And then for my weight gain, I actually gained four pounds. And I was really shocked when I stepped on the scale and it said, 119 because the last time I was 115 so it's I still don't weigh that much but I gained a total of four pounds in a few ounces I'm not I can't remember the exact ounce amount but that was really exciting I was like oh wow I don't know where the weight is going because I still look the same so but hey I'm gaining weight and then for the bump app I'll also keep it I'll put it right here so you guys can check it out again oh but yeah 
so the bump app it just continues to update you as every single day it'll put like a daily little fact that you can read but every week when you like turn a new week it updates you and it shows you what vegetable the baby looks like or what fruit and then it shows um like the what symptoms you should be having at this point what your baby is going through like what your baby's what new development stages your baby's going through and then it tells you things about your body as well and then there's like the um my favorite part the 3d body part and it's the it shows the baby and it shows how much they've grown and it shows little details on them like certain things like about if their ears they're they're like able to hear clearly now inside the womb um like you know just telling you things like oh they're starting to hiccup they're starting to pee they're starting to move their hands and suck their thumb and things like that inside you and then yeah so i would definitely yeah so that's really it about the bump app and i love using it because i like looking at the little i like reading it and i also like looking at the little um 3d baby because it's just so cute and then they have a 3d body of a woman too but she's naked and so i don't want to put that on there and then I get demoralized because it's, you know, I don't know, I don't want to take any risk. But you guys will see the little baby part of it. And now it's my bump. So here's my bump here. I still am very small, but there's something there. Mm -hmm. And then I'll also have more pictures of my daughter over here on the side so you guys can look at that to see how she's growing and developing and it's so cute. And they took the cutest picture of her little nose and her mouth. Like we got to see, it looked like we were in like a 3D or a 4D ultrasound, but we weren't because the way like her face was like right there on the, um, on the, the thing, I don't know what it's called, but what they put on your belly like her face was like right exactly on it so we got to see her whole little face but when the lady took the picture she just got her nose and her lips but it was so cute and she has her dad's nose and i'm so excited because her sister had her dad's nose too and it's just so cute it's just the cutest little tiny nose ever and i love it but yeah that's all i have for the update today you guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I appreciate you guys so much because my little subscribers are gaining and gaining slowly and I'm so excited. So keep on um, watching for more content. See you later.